Now, the official Sun Coast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. So we're in the middle of this pattern change that we've been talking about for several days, and the pattern change really didn't take much to make happen. All we had to do is shift the location of one system and everything else will fall into line. 90 degrees, our current air temperature. Dew point is at 74. Still a pretty warm day. We have plenty of sunshine out there. That sunshine will continue to uh, help boost our temperature up probably to the mid-90s once again today. And across the region, temperatures everywhere are pretty close to the 90 degree mark. We've got 89 in Wachula, 89 in Arcadia, 89 in Mayaca City. 89 in Lakewood Ranch, 90s in Bradenton and Parrish, Sarasota, and then uh, temperatures that are generally in the upper 80s south of that along the coastline for Venice coming in at 89, for Inglewood at 88, 89 in Northport and 90 in Punta Gorda. I think as we head into the next several days, we're going to see an onshore wind flow. And while water temperatures are still pretty warm, so we won't get tremendous differences with an onshore flow of air like we might in, say, October, I think we will probably see some warmer inland temperatures than coastal temperatures over the next couple of days because that onshore flow of air will help to cool the coast just a little bit more than inland areas. Today, things are pretty quiet. If you, you can kind of make out here almost a ring of showers, that's because the high pressure center has sunk south and is more directly aligned over the center part of the state of Florida. So if you think of, uh, you think of a, a merry-go-round, if you're standing in the center of the merry-go-round, you're not going to get a lot of wind on your face. But if you're on one of the edges of the merry-go-round, you know, you're going to get a whole lot more wind flow. And that's kind of what's going on here. The high pressure ridge that we had had to our north has sunk south. So as it sits right over us, we tend to get less wind, and our steering currents and surface winds have lightened up sufficiently that we'll catch a good sea breeze building today in response to inland heating. So that sea breeze will move pretty far inland, and it's going to carry the showers with it. So you're not going to get a lot of showers near the coast. Eventually, as that high sinks south, by tomorrow we'll have a more established westerly flow of air, and that will carry us through probably the next four or five days. Warm afternoons. But because of that westerly flow, flow pushing everything toward the other coast, we'll have storms in mostly inland areas. And the reason the high has sunk south is because we have a cold front trying to nudge its way south and to the east. A first little taste of spring back behind that cold front, but like football players kind of all rearranging their positions when one person moves, so too does our high pressure ridge have to move in response to an approaching cold front. So we're kind of locked into that pattern for several days. Watch the forecast wind speeds. They're coming out of the east, but then they turn west, and they pretty much stay there right through the weekend, helping to keep our wind flow, generally speaking, light and variable during the morning hours and toward the west as we head into the afternoons. Watch the uh, RPM computer model forecast. You'll see a couple of showers building inland today and then everything being pushed toward the other coast or basically dying out in place. Tomorrow, a stronger westerly wind flow will encourage a few scattered showers along the coast in the morning. Then everything is pushed well inland and the bigger storms stay in inland areas. They may try to work their way back to the coast as the sea breeze dies, but they'll never make it before dying out. So the coastline is going to enjoy a period of extended period, actually, of some west winds, which means some pretty pleasant afternoon conditions without those big thunderstorms that we have been dealing with over the last week or so. Watch for daytime highs to top out warm in the mid-90s with a decreasing chance of rainfall into the weekend, better rain chances inland. Scott?